Well, I don't know if you can hear me very well or not, but I'm out here at Middle Sink, which is near Beaver Mountain Ski Resort in northern Utah. Whoa, that's a big hole. And Peter Sinks is close by. Yeah, you stepped in it too, didn't you? Peter Sinks is close by, and it's kind of a geological anomaly because it, it traps the cold air. So it's the second coldest spot in the lower 48 states, where it was recorded to be the second coldest on record back in 1985. But Middle Sink, from what I understand, gets pretty close to the temperatures of, of Peter Sinks. So I'm trying to get out here to place a thermometer so I can have a better idea uh, how much colder or how much warmer this place is compared to Peter Sinks because Utah State University has a weather station out at Peter Sinks so they keep track of the temperature every 15 minutes you can actually check it online but I'm just going to come out here and put a thermometer that records the max temperatures, both high and low. I mean, not interested in high, obviously. <sighs> okay, I've got to go all the way back up there. But we're going to drop off this thermometer and pick it up in the morning and see how cold it got overnight. Honestly, I don't think it's going to get that cold because the wind is blowing super strong and when it's windy, the temperature of the sink doesn't vary much compared to the rim. So, oh well. At least I didn't have to go all the way into Peter Sink. All right. Me and my dog are back out here at Middle Sink. I put a thermometer out here last night to see how cold it would get. My car thermometer was showing one degree on our way back up here. So I'm thinking my prediction of negative three Fahrenheit is going to be pretty close. It's nice that the wind isn't blowing at all this morning. And it's double nice because it probably means that the temperature dropped down a little bit more last night. Uh, negative eight looks like. Negative eight. Okay, not bad. That gives me a perfect reference. I'll just go back and look up the temperatures on the uh, Utah State University website for Peter Sinks. <sighs> One experiment down. Okay, let's go back. The website listed negative 18.7 Fahrenheit for November 18th, 2017 at Peter Sinks. However, that temperature was reached later that night. Looking at the 15 minute changes, the overnight low for Friday into Saturday was negative 8.1 Fahrenheit at Peter Sinks, which means that middle sink probably gets close enough on most days if the conditions are right. And that's good news for me because it means I don't have to hike in five and a half miles to Peter Sinks to experience that kind of cold. This is Derek reminding you you're working too hard. See you next time.